Hello, hello, and happy February. I have decided to come on today and do a video of the energies of February. Um, I don't know about you, but January was definitely a challenging month for me and my family as so many things have been shifting and, um, you know, our health and all of the things. So I'm actually looking forward to February. And the energies I've been tuning into, it's almost like a cloud has been lifted, so to speak. Um, the energies are starting to shift and create new space for us. So if there is anything that you're still hanging on to, um, and this could be literally um, you know, how you're showing up in the world, this could be maybe there's clutter in your home, this could be, um, you know, letting go of old relationships or even letting go of old thought beliefs and patterns, um, even simple day to day things like maybe too much time on social media or, um, you know, not taking uh, enough time for your own wellness, your own health. Um, and so I feel like January is really pushed us to look at our relationship to our surroundings and our relationship to ourself and really inviting us to let go of those things, those habits, those patterns that aren't, um, uh, aren't supposed to be moving forward with us. And so the way to really tune into those is to, you know, just become aware of your energy in the moment, day to day, moment to moment, hour to hour, and really check in with yourself. And, you know, where are you feeling um, maybe anxious feelings or where are you feeling sadness or where is it in your life that um, something's just not like aligning for you, right? And to really stop in those moments and ask yourself those questions, like, what is this? What is this for me? How is this, um, you know, supposed to be worked with? How am I supposed to tune into this even deeper? And just really start to be curious about the energies and how you are showing up every day and how you're taking care of yourself. So that's a really big thing. I think January definitely has taught me as well as the collective. Um, and so I pulled some cards for February. I also was really drawn to some crystals and an essential oil. So I'll share those as well. So the essential oil, as I was tuning in to what people need for February, I got the essential oil joy here. Um, and this is really about finding your joy, finding your bliss, finding your passion, doing what lights you up, taking care of yourself, you know, in, in ways that, you know, maybe, maybe you like to walk or maybe you like to read a book, but it, this is also like finding something maybe new, a new habit or a new um, routine or a self-care practice that's going to light you up even more. So not saying that the old ways are bad, just saying that um, this is a time to really start to cultivate more joy and passion and bliss in your life. So I love this oil. I like to apply it behind my ears. I also will put it right over my heart. Um, and I just, I really, really like that oil. The crystals that I were, was drawn to specifically was this big old chunk. This is an Atlantean quartz crystal. And I know that many of us who carry uh, and have past lives in Atlantis um, are really starting to um, bring our energies and our uh, magic back online in a deeper way. So there's been a lot of past life clearing and healing through the Atlantean era. And it's coming up again because of course we're moving into this golden age. And so it's really about us remembering our, our soul past. It's also about us activating and retrieving the soul messages, the gifts, um, the healing capabilities that we had really tuning into the crystal frequencies, um, especially of, uh, you know, quartz crystals, Atlantean quartz crystals, those kinds of energies. Lemurian quartz are really coming back up for many people as well. So it's your time to tune into that if you're drawn to it, right? Only if you're drawn to it. Don't force yourself into it. But if you have curiosity, 
if there are these weird dreams that you're getting or visions or memories, or all of a sudden you're really drawn to information about these ancient um, pasts, you can absolutely tune into that because there's probably a message for you there. And if you need assistance diving into your past lives, that is something that I do in my soul quests as well as my DNA activations. So you can always reach out if you need assistance in that area. So that was one that's really coming forward. Um, also the, like I had said, the, um, these are Lemurian quartz here. And so the beautiful striations, the ridges that are in these quartz crystals are like little memory banks. And so I like to place that in my left hand and bring it to my heart and just really communicate um, telepathically and energetically with the crystal to uh, see if there's any messages that need to come forward for me or my client or for the collective. And so these are really coming up right now. And then the other one that has been very prevalent in my healing as well as my clients is the Golden Ray uh, Healer Quartz. And so I always think of this one as a connection to the Christed Consciousness. And many of us know that if you're watching this, the Christed Consciousness is energy that is within all of us. It's within our Christed Consciousness chakra, our 12th chakra. It is connected to the Great Central Sun. It is connected to the teachings of the Essenes. It's connected to the teachings of Yeshua, uh, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, Isis, Buddha, all of them carry the Christed consciousness. And, and so it's really um, coming online again for us. It's always available for us, but it's very strong. I feel the energies that have been coming into the planet have been directly associated with the Shekinah light, with the, uh, the Sophia light, with the Christed consciousness. And if we remember the Christed consciousness is both a balance of the masculine and feminine energy. It's not just one or the other, it's both, but it is more of a feminine path where we are not um, taking our power externally, we are really bringing our power back internally. And we're building from our heart space. We're really allowing our heart to expand in such a huge way. So it's building your light, your power, that Shekinah energy that you carry from your heart and really allowing it to grow from within and shine out into the world. And so that golden ray, I always think of it of the, of the 12th ray coming in, uh, that feminine kind of consciousness as well, um, connected to the Christ consciousness and really tuning your attention inward and building your light from the inside out okay so those are the crystals and of course if you ever have questions you could always just comment below and um, i would love to have a conversation with you if you have more questions about any of this so let's go into the actual cards i use two different decks the first deck i used is my blue rose activation deck that i created and this is different shades of the rose, as you can see behind me, uh, the blue rose is definitely very prevalent right now in um, society because it is the face of the mother. It is also um, said to be the rose, the order of the Magdalene after Yeshua's crucifixion. Uh, her, Mary Magdalene and her closest uh, companions came together and created a, a ministry, so to speak, a a movement, we'll say, of radical guides that were still sharing um, these ancient teachings. And so that is definitely very prevalent right now. Okay, and so next up is the cards, okay? So I use the Blue Rose Codes deck, and then I also use um, the Beyond Lemuria Oracle Cards by Izzy Ivy. Um, and so again, the ancient past definitely has been coming in for me as I remember uh, my multidimensional selves, as well as these um, collective memories that we're all um, starting to kind of move forward to. So first card I pulled is we got dance. And so these are the energies for February. And I asked what is it that the collective really needs overall? And so we got the dance card. And if you see this beautiful purple rose, it's got water droplets on it. And this is all about finding that joy again, finding the bliss, like moving your body, doing things a little bit differently than what maybe you have in the past. This is really about finding fun. Um, you know, it is also the month we have Valentine's Day, if you celebrate that coming up. Um, and it's just a month of, of really allowing yourself to be free, finding freedom within yourself, finding freedom in your movement. And this can be just like something that I was guided to do 
for my new year's resolution, which I don't really do those, but um, just something I, I asked my own internal guidance, like what is it that I can do every single day to really help me align? And something so simple was to put on one song a day and dance and move my body and just get lost in that music. And so that's something that I'm trying to practice every day is just play some music and move my body and just get lost in it and just find that bliss and that happiness. And whether that's something that's more, maybe I'm, I'm grieving or something and going through a hard time, or maybe you're feeling sad, you know, you can still listen to music and allow that music to help you move the energy through the body, right? Just like if you need something that's like more pump me up kind of music, like you need to get on with, you have a busy day or something, you know, put on the music, the frequency that's going to help you achieve that state of being. And so February overall is all about dance. It's all about bringing fun back into your life, passion back into your life. And then this leads to the next card, which is I asked about finances, because I know for a lot of people, um, my clients especially, um, have really been talking about finances. And it, it feels like a lot of people are kind of like in this lull state. They're not sure what to do next. Um, what was working isn't working any longer. Um, and so there's kind of this, this uh, pressure to cling on to the old ways, to cling on to maybe even getting stuck in a lack kind of mindset. And so what the next one is, is all about the finances for February. And we have the sacral chakra card. This is the core of creation. Let me see. There you go. And if you can see this, we have the beautiful Kundalini serpent energy, right? Rising up into the great central sun rising up from the depths and so this is really an important month for us to celebrate and to create okay so that dancing that movement um, a lot clearing things out like I mentioned clearing things out allowing more space in for new creations to come and again sometimes these can be big big things sometimes these can be small little things like cleaning your kitchen cupboards or going through the spices and things like that. You know, it, it can be a really big or really small, but you are clearing out space. So the creative life force energy that, that Kundalini Shakti can start to move through you. Okay. So just remember that no matter what you're being asked to release, that that is literally creating the space for new energy. Okay. So just really think of it that way. And if you have been working with your Kundalini energy, um, you know, it's within all of us, it's the sleeping serpent, they call it, it's, it's coiled up at the base of the spine and we all have access to it. It's all, it's never fully asleep, but when we bring our awareness to it, our consciousness starts to expand. And so that's really what this is asking us is to bring our awareness and our consciousness to our creations. What is it that we're really creating? What is it that we really desire? What is going to actually light us up and turn us on for the month of February? Okay, so just ask those questions to yourself. You can also get into like breath of fire where you can do some kundalini yoga. Um, again, dancing, putting on some amazing music and just letting your body flow. And that's going to help to move that energy. And if we know about the Kundalini, it literally breaks up the pathways within our energetic body. It, it busts through any blockages that we may be carrying. It helps us to see our shadows in a different way, in a new light. And also, um, if we're not paying attention to our shadows, if we're not actually listening and feeding the serpent, the serpent can eat us whole. Okay, so just remember that we need to bring our awareness to our, <clears throat> excuse me, to our shadow self. We need to feed the serpent. We need to make sure that we're consciously aware of what is happening within our bodies and how um, our energy is creating the world around us, right? And taking the radical responsibility for those steps to clear any um, extra debris that you may have caused, okay? And then the last one is what about relationships? What about our relationships for February? And I just love this card. We got trust your innocence. And this to me is all about purity. And this doesn't mean like, um, you know, being like suffering or, or being super strict, but this is about cleansing your energy. This is about coming back to your inner child. This is really about looking and remembering how you were when you were like seven or eight years old, you know, what was it that was so fun for you? What did you love to do? What did you enjoy to do? And bring that forward because our inner child is ready to help us lead. And I always think of the inner child as a guide is really 
our soul that wants to create, wants to play, wants to live in a world full of wonder and joy. And so this is all about in your relationships, coming back to the purity, coming back to the innocence, coming back to your truth. And is this relationship really serving you? Is this relationship fun? Is this relationship um, allowing you um, the space to really create and to really tune into that inner child energy? Um, and if not, just maybe this doesn't mean that it has to go, but what it could mean is that communication needs to be had. There needs to be open communication lines um, through the sacred heart, through the womb space, and really see what the truth is behind any situations that you may be feeling, any uneasiness that you may be feeling. Maybe there is an elephant in the room or there's a conversation that you know needs to be had. The month of February is saying to have that conversation, all right? To bring it back to that inner child, tune into your heart, tune into your inner child and ask, what does he or she need? What is it that this energy wants to create? What does this energy need to bring forth into the world? And then trust that message that you get and start to move from that space, okay? Um, so those were the energies for February. And I just think that it's a really beautiful message. And I love how the cards just kind of went together with everything that I've been feeling personally, as well as as I tune in collectively. And then I also just want to say that in the month of um, February, I have some events coming up. So on 2 2 of 22 is at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I am doing a free event on Zoom. Um, you can find the information below. And this is the Blue Rose Codes of the Magdalene. So we're going to be um, channeling healing uh, transmissions from Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary um, and any other divine beings who want to step forward. And we're going to really be opening up. Uh, the heart and the womb space and creating unity within through these energetic attunements. So bring a pen and paper with you to make any notes that you may need um, and just be in a nice quiet space, maybe create a little altar. Uh, maybe you want to bring in different colors or different rose colors or hues or wear blue. That's going to be really powerful as well as maybe even having a glass of water with you as well. So that's at, um, that's on the second at 6 p.m. Okay, Central Standard Time. And then on uh, February 10th, I'm doing a Reiki Master certification. So we're going to be doing Kundalini Reiki. Um, and it's a four week process where you become attuned to levels one, two, and three, which is the ability to uh, you know, facilitate healing for others, ability to heal yourself, ability to even attune other people as well. So this is a four week um, process and it is, we meet one time a, a week. So on Thursdays at 6.30 p or sorry, 7.30 p.m. on Thursday, Central Standard Time, we meet and then there's additional uh, pre-recorded videos that you get as well that you can do at your own uh, own pace. So that starts on the 10th of February, which I'm really excited for. Um, and again, this is really about us tuning into our life force energy, the life force, the kundalini of the, the skies, the kundalini of the earth and the kundalini within us and how we can use this as a manifestation tool, how we can use this as a healing tool for ourselves and others. And it's really prevalent right now, you know, to remember that we hold this energy within us and that we can access it and use it for the greater good of all beings. And then um, I'm bringing wine and woo night back, except this time, instead of doing it in person, like I used to do, I'm going to be doing it online. So um, this is Friday the 18th. It is um, $44 for tickets and it's at 6.30 p.m. And this will be um, readings and healings and channeled messages. And just really, I keep it a small container. There's only eight spots available. So a very small container. So I can really get to each person um, individually and then also collectively. So it's fun. Um, you know, you can bring a cup of tea or if you wanna bring a glass of wine, that's cool too. Um, but this is really just about creating community, um, doing some healing work and bringing any guidance or messages that you may need for moving forward. This happens to be right around the full moon as well. So um, stay tuned because every month I'm going to try to, to have one of these and just tickets are limited, spaces are limited. So if you want that, make sure to reach out and I can definitely send you the information to book your space.
And then finally, um, on 222 of 22, my six month embodiment course and mystery teachings is coming out and that is called Everyday Divinity. And this is really a six month container um, to help you to clear the past wounds, especially the, the wounds of the Magdalene, the wounds of the priestesses. Um, this is um, clearing out the vows and contracts of silence and obedience and um, celibacy and um, you know, these wounds that many of us are carrying. And so it's really about cleansing and clearing out the feminine wounding as well as the masculine um, and to start to heal your masculine and feminine energies within you. This is also about inner child healing. This is about um, embracing and mothering yourself as you're transitioning. This is also about tuning into your magic, to your gifts, to activating your spiritual and psychic gifts that we all have and how you can use those, how you can really start to shift and shape your world um, by tuning into that magic. And then every single month, we're also um, working with an ascended master. So Isis and Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary and Hathor, as well as bringing in the energies of the earth and the energies of the stars, working with the Syrian, the Palladian and the Octarian councils. And so we're going to be um, anchoring in those beautiful light codes and messages. And every single week, we're going to meet together and we will have a sacred ceremony. Um, we're also going to be doing a monthly cacao ceremony. And so this is a six month process to really reclaim your truth, reclaim your power and your voice, heal from those past woundings and stand up to be a steward of the earth, to really honor who you are in all of your essence through the shadows, through the light and start to really um, anchor in these divine codes so we can heal the planet and to really raise the consciousness, not only of Gaia, but of humanity. And so if that's something that you want more information on, if you feel very very activated. And if you feel like that is aligning with your soul, then definitely message me and we can, um, you know, talk further into that. We can jump on a call and see if this is really right for you, if you have questions. Um, and so that's what I have for you guys for the month of January, or sorry, for the month of February. Um, again, if you want, just reach out to me and I would love to help you further on your ascension journey. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day.